Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know me, my name is Terry and I do boxy channel unboxings and beauty videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So today we're going to be looking at the exclusive Natasha Denona palette for BoxyCharm called the Peak Palette. So this is a collection of shadows from her past palettes. She selected some of her favorite shades. So it's a really beautiful selection of warm tone, perfect warm tone shades for fall. And you can create neutral looks or even some smoky looks with that brown. And that sparkle as well. It will be good for evening to add a little bit of shimmer. So I haven't played with Natasha Denona shadows a lot, so I'm looking forward to playing with this palette. I do also have here my October BoxyCharm Premium box as well as my base box. Um, this month's theme for October is Candy Shop. So I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I received in my October premium and base boxes as well so stay tuned so the first product i'm going to be applying is the fasali quench moisture replenishing serum and this was in our base box this month so i'm just going to apply some of that into the palm of my hands Next, I'm going to go in with the Rodial Soft Focus Glow Drops. It actually smells quite nice. <laughs> going in with my foundation and dabbing that all over with my beauty sponge. Blended out my concealer. I'm going to go in with my Kosas Contour Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlight. So I got the color Velvet Melon, um, which is this really nice corally shade of blush and a nice goldish tone highlight. So I'm going to go in with the blush first, actually. I'm just going to go in with my fingers. Just blend it out. The color is quite sheer, so you can actually build it up, which I think is a good thing because that way it's a little bit harder for you to go overboard. My mistake. And next I'm going to go in with the highlight with my flat foundation black brush. I'm 
that's actually really pretty. It's more of a natural type of cloth. really nice so I'm really enjoying this uh, Kosas color cream and light I think I'm actually happy with the shade I got because I think this shade is perfect for my skin tone the blush and the highlight work really well on my skin tone okay so next I'm gonna go in and powder with my Laura Mercier powder just in the t-zone I'm just gonna powder like under the eyes to prevent that concealer from creasing in, uh, in the T zone area where I can usually get a bit oily. And my smile lines. If you know me, I'm always smiling, so <laughs> I do, my foundation does tend to crease a lot in this area. So next I'm going to go in and top up that blush and highlight with my pretty Bulga nesting knee face <laughs> palette. This came in our base boxes this month. So there's some great shades in here. Um, I actually, this part came in really handy on a freelance makeup job I had last weekend. So um, it has like uh, like different shades of contour and highlight and as well as two brushes. So I'm just gonna go in with that bronzer right there. shadow pencil um, as a base for my eyeshadow. I've been watching a lot of professional makeup artists on YouTube recently including Hung who does a lot of celebrities makeup like Selena Gomez and I've seen that they usually go in with eye pencils before they go in with the shadows. So this is something I want I've been wanting to try myself. So I've laid down my shadow and now I'm just gonna go and blend out. So that there would not be a harsh line. I'm just blending out the edge of that so that there would not be a harsh line when I lay down uh, my shadows on top. So I've gone ahead and blended out with that pencil on my bottom lash line as well. And now I'm going to go in with this shade from the Natasha Denona palette called Thorn, which is the brown shade in the middle. I'm just going to pack that on top of where I have the shadow, the brown eyeliner, sorry. Bring it below my crease because I know that when I blend it out it may migrate up a bit. So I'm keeping it low. Um, now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, a pencil brush. I'm going to do the same as the bottom lash line. Okay, so now I've laid down that brown. I'm going to go in with um, this orange shade right here. And I'm going to blend out the edges of that brown with the orange shade. As 
you can see that orange is very pigmented. And it actually blended out really easily. And I'm also going to blend out some of that orange along my lower lash line as well. And now I'm going to go in with this peachy shade called Jasper and I'm going to go in and blend out around that deeper orange which was called Amhara. shade here shine um, just underneath my eyebrows as my um, eyebrow highlight. I'm hoping it's not too light but I guess we'll find out together. Actually I think it's perfect. It's not too um it doesn't look ashy on my skin tone. It's a perfect cream shade. I'm just going to go back in with all the colors just to blend them out and intensify them. So starting with that peachy shade, I'm going back in with that. The colors are blending really easily together. No issues whatsoever with blending. And finally, I'm going to go back in with that chocolatey brown shade called Thorn, just to intensify the lid again. And the final shade we're going to go in with is the shimmer shade here, this champagne shimmer shade, and that is called Aya. And I'm just going to go in in my inner corner with the shade. I'm using it dry currently. I performed really beautifully dry, so I'm really happy with how the eye look turned out. So I'm just going to pop off camera and apply my lashes. I'm going to use the Velour Lashes in the style Winging, which are actually quite dramatic. But And then I'm going to pop on a lip as well. I'll let you know what I use when I get back. Going in and popped on my lashes and I've lined my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Nutmeg. And now I'm going to go in with the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss in the shade Teeny Bikini, which is a beautiful orangey shade bomb. And I'm going to go in with this in the center um, just to continue with that whole orangey vibe, fall vibes. So there you go, there's the final look. So I hope you enjoyed uh, my video and first look at the Natasha Denona uh, Peak Palette. I must say that I really enjoy it. I mean, I found, I think this is probably my first time playing with Natasha Denona mattes and they're very smooth. I actually did my base first. I didn't actually have any fallout. So I really liked that. There's not a lot of fallout in the pan either. So I think the shadows are really great quality and this is a palette you can get a lot of use out of like just everyday use so I think this is a great one to be getting in your box 
So hope everyone is excited to get their Natasha Denona palette in their November boxes. Um, I will confirm below whether it will be in all the boxes or only just some, but fingers crossed, I, I hopefully it's in all of them. So, because I really, really enjoy it. So comment below and let me know if you're hoping to get the Natasha Denona Peak palette in your November box charm. And let me know what variation you got this month and if you're enjoying your box. Bye guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more Boxy Charm unboxings and sneak peeks.